So this is going to be kind of a microservice model where I have a separate client application and a microservice and a server application or microservice. And the, the idea behind this is I want you to be able to follow the concepts and basically apply this to whatever application type you're building. I have a completely empty directory here. So we're starting totally from scratch. Let's make our client directory and let's make a server directory in our client we're just going to have a simple index.html file and let's open a new tab here we'll have one for the client one for the server so let's cd into our client got our index.html and then we will cd into our server make it a little bigger you can see there's nothing there. So let's start with the just the client for now. And before we get started writing any code, I said this was going to be from scratch. So let's go ahead and head into our cloud console. Or, and yes, I did say this was from scratch. A few prereqs, uh, very limited. One is that you have a cloud project. In your cloud project, uh, let's assume you have enabled the Google Ads API, which you can do by just going into the library, Google Ads API, and you can see if I click in here, this is enabled. Uh, if it isn't enabled, you'll want to make sure that it is enabled in order to use it. So let's go back to uh, API credentials. So once you have a cloud project, what we'll need to do, because this is a web app, is create OAuth credentials for a web application. So let's create our credentials. We're going to create an OAuth client ID. This is a web application. We'll call it my demo app. And create. Now, as you can see, this gives me a client ID as well as a client secret. I also have the ability to download, download this as a JSON file. Now let's head on in here. I can download it here as well. And that's basically all we need.